Z transform so here Z transform converts a discrete a discrete time signal discrete time signal so the transform is converts into discrete time signal so which is which is a sequence which is a sequence of real or complex real or complex frequent complex now here z transform is equivalent to equivalent to uh, sorry equivalent of the equivalent of the Laplace transform Laplace transform so dress, dress, uh, the transform is equivalent to Laplace transform so here these two are very similar way laplace transform is also used for continuous function and z transform is also used for continuous function and laplace transform used for differential equation also and z transform is also used for um, continuous uh, uh, differential equations now here z transform is used for z transform is used in area of signal signal processing processing and system design system design and analysis analysis and control theory control theory control theory definition so if u n equals f of n u n equals f of n defined defined for all for for all you can use this symbol also for all n equals 0 1 2 3 so on and u suffix n equals 0 for n is less than 0 here for negative integers u n is equal to 0 here this function will be u n becomes 0 here then then the z transform then the z transform of u n u n denoted by denoted by z transform of u n z t of n means z suffix t of u n is is 
defined by defined by z transform of u n equals summation n equals zero to infinity u n into z to the power of minus n is called z transform. It is called z transform. So I call it this one as equation. So what is the definition? If u n equals f of n defined for all n equals positive integer including 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. And u n when you'll get u n equals 0 less than 0 means for negative for negative values u n equals 0. Right? So I defined here. Then the z transform of u n is defined by z transform of u n is defined by z transform of u n is defined as z transform of u n is defined by what you get this is the very important z transform of u n equals summation n equals 0 to infinity u n into z to the power of minus n so i call it this one as 1 so this is the z transform definition Now, uh, yeah, whenever whenever the series whenever the series on the RHS on the RHS of equation one of equation RHS of the equation one means this part converges converges it will be it will be yes function it will be a function of z here is in a problem smart so rhs yavalu kuda functions of z alirutte remember that one always this part uh, you will get the result is function of z and and we write and we write z transform of u n here z transform of u n equals u bar of z u bar of z so this result gives always function of z only so i called it that one as u bar of z so i called it this one as equation 2 now next year further further equation 2 this equation 2 can be can be written as can be uh, can be written as here z transform here i'll transfer this one to right hand side so what you get z transform of inverse of u bar of z equals u n so this is called inverse inverse z transform this is called inverse inverse z transform this is called the inverse z transform inverse z transform now property so here z z transform of n to the power of k equals minus z into d by dz of z transform of n to the power of k minus 1 k minus 1 
So next I will say list of standard Z transform list of standard Z transform so first one Z transform of 1 equals Z divided by Z minus 1 so how you got result means by using the definition of Z transform you will get this one put un equals 1 so you expand that one so you will get this result and second one z transform of k to the power of n so we will get z divided by z minus k and here next one z transform of n equals z divided by z minus 1 whole square for this one we have to use this property so z transform of n to the power of k so we have to use this property so we will get this result fourth one z transform of k to the power of n into n equals k z divided by z minus k whole square so for this one also same property you have to use fifth one z transform of n square equals z square plus z divided by z minus 1 whole cube sixth one z transform of k to the power of n into n square equals will get z into uh, k into z square plus k square into z divided by z minus k whole cube here k is increasing and z is decreasing remember that one seventh one z transform of n cube equals here z cube plus 4 z square plus z whole divided by z minus 1 whole to the power of 4 8th one z transform of k to the power of n into n cube equals k times of z cube plus 4 z k square z square plus k cube z divided by z minus k whole to the power of 4 so these are the standard result you have to remember so here linearity property linearity property so if if u and un and vn are two functions u and vn are two function b any two discrete valid function discrete valued function functions here function to andre in the you have to check it so in the so z transform of here c1 into constant into un1 function to the c2 into vn1 function to the so you will get c1 is constant so c1 constant here the end of so z transform now work to the so z transform of un kind of echo plus 
C2 is constant. C2 constant here in the world. So Z transform of V N. Next property damping rule or damping property. So here if uh, Z transform of UN equals U bar of Z and the converges then 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 here you will get two types one is Z transform of K to the power of N into UN E function so what you get result result always you will get U bar of Z by K. So, illa n Z irato, adhna Z by K ge replace madhe ko. Illa answer so Z dal bandhte, a Z na Z by K ge replace madhe ko. So, second one ina gatte here Z transform of K to the power of minus n into U n here one by K to the power of n bandhre ina gatte anta. So, what do you get? u bar of k times of z illi n n no answer varutu in z alli answer u adanna k into z convert madbeku z n no k into z replace madbeku so this is your damping rule property now next one is shifting shifting rule or shifting property So, what do you get now? If Z transform of UN equals U bar of Z, then, then you will get again two types. One is right shifting and another one is left shifting. So, first one, right shifting. Right shifting rule. So what do you get here? Z transform of u suffix n minus k equals Z transform of k to the power of k um, minus k into u bar of z where where k is greater than zero. So left shifting property so left shifting rule or left shifting property so z transform of u suffix n uh, n plus k ali n minus k to ali n plus k so equals z to the power of k into u bar of z minus summation r equals 0 to k minus 1 into u suffix r into z z in z to the power of minus r or you can write this one as here z to the power of k into u bar of z minus u naught minus u1 into z to the power of minus 1 minus u2 into z to the power of minus 2 plus 1 either continue up there up to where it is k minus 1 sorry up to here u suffix k minus 1 into z to the power of minus k minus 1 continue so you can write this one as like this so this is your left shifting root note so here some particular cases So first one Z transform of U N plus one equals Z into U bar of here 
n my n plus 1 is there. Here n plus k. This is k minus 1 or go with the n plus 1 and the body get here z to the z k g n k is there. 1 is there. Here k g. So put it k equals 1. So z into u borrow z minus u naught. And here z transform of u n plus 2. If you get z here z square into here k value 2 is there u bar of z minus u naught minus u1 into z to the power of minus 1. So z transform of u n plus 3 if you get it I it to write here z to z cube k ga 3 equally so u bar of z minus u naught minus u1 into z to the power of minus 1 minus u2 into z to the power of minus 2 so this so we have to remember these properties